was entirely caused by genetics? The answer may surprise you. Hi everyone, it's Samita here. Welcome to my channel, Samita Coco. Today I will be talking about whether or not PCOS is caused by your genetics. You may or may not be predisposed to PCOS based on your genetics. Studies suggest that PCOS is a result of thrifty genes. PCOS can be advantageous in an evolutionary perspective. When a woman is under a lot of stress, say it's starvation, a lot of psychological stress, environmental stress, by increasing insulin resistance, this woman is going to have a lot more abdominal fatness, which will help with starvation. And she will also shut down reproductive function, so she's not going to have a baby, and this is beneficial for her and also for her future generations. The theory suggests that our ancestors carried these PCOS genes because they were favorable. They helped them produce these transient changes of PCOS symptoms. These PCOS symptoms can be easily reversed once the woman is subject to good high quality food, good sleep, relaxation. In the modern world today, most of us are chronically stressed. We're eating poor diets with a lot of different toxins in them, different chemicals like pesticides and herbicides. We're subject to a lot of environmental toxins, PCBs and BPAs, which are all endocrine disrupting chemicals. In teenage girls with PCOS, there are much higher levels of BPA in their systems. We are also subject to high amounts of psychological stress that have no impact on our survival. When women who are predisposed to PCOS are chronically stressed, this turns on the expression of their PCOS genes, therefore exhibiting PCOS symptoms. When these genes are chronically turned on and are not turned back off, their PCOS gets worse, pathogenesis occurs. This brings us to the science of epigenetics. Epigenetics is the study of how the environment triggers changes in gene expression that are completely independent of your DNA. Baby monkeys that are exposed to high androgen levels in the mother's womb ends up having PCOS. Antimalarian hormone that is exposed to the baby can also induce PCOS. Just to say that PCOS is completely a genetic disorder is not only incorrect, but also very disempowering. You can absolutely change your genetic expression through manipulating your environmental variables. A lower carb diet that does not impact insulin as much can be beneficial. Going out into nature, connecting with nature, meditating, reducing your stress levels, exercising, especially heavy lifting can be remarkable for your insulin sensitivity. Changing your environment, what cosmetics to put on your body that doesn't have a lot of endocrine disrupting chemicals, staying away from BPA and plastics, staying away from environmental pollution, and really taking the time for self-care. Taking care of yourself, ladies, because that is so, so important for reversing your PCOS. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and support me. Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know what diet and lifestyle factors have you implemented to help reverse your PCOS naturally. See you next time. Bye.